Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we'll learn about three useful features available in Azure Container Registry, ACR, that not all Azure developers know about. Those three features are, first of all, the ability to scan the images, the Docker images using Azure Security Center, and then the integration with AKS, and then the ability to create private ACR registry. I'm Hossein Delay, engineer at Microsoft. Follow me in this video to learn more about those powerful features. So to start with here, I have already started some videos before this one talking about ACR and the ability to not only host Docker images inside ACR, but also to use ACR to build the Docker containers themselves. And we have talked also about hosting Helm packages and Helm charts into a repository that will be hosted in ACR. In this video, I continue on that logic and here I show you some more useful and powerful features available with ACR. So let's start with the security. So here we can use some other containers and some technologies in order to scan our images. This is typically done during the CI CD pipelines, but what we can do also is that we can use Azure Security Center in order to scan the images that are pushed into ACR. So in each time a new image is pushed to ACR, Azure Security Center will detect that and it will start scanning that image looking for any uh, vulnerabilities, security issues, and it will give, give us some recommendations. This is, could be configured on the Azure portal. So here I'm, I have, uh, I'm on the Security Center uh, overview, and here you can see some of the recommendations and some of the results about the analysis that have been done on my subscription on multiple types of uh, resources like virtual machines, um, uh, application uh, services, functions, and this is also applicable for ACR and also AKS. Today we can also uh, scan for your uh, AKS cluster looking for any uh, bad uh, practices and recommending you uh, a remediation plan for how to fix those issues in your cluster and also in ACR. Another useful feature is what we call the quarantine pattern. So here, when you push a new image into ACR, we will not allow you to use that image immediately in your AKS or in ACI or whatever you want. We'll, you will need, actually we'll create a flag that will disable using that image until it is scanned using Azure Security Center. And that's what we call the quarantine pattern. It's locked. The image is locked until it's scanned and until it's verified and until that, um, that flag e will allow you to use that image. So at that time you can pull that image in your AKS cluster, for example. This is really useful. To learn more about that, I, here you, have, uh, you will have in the uh, description below this video the link for all the resources that I'm sharing today. Let's move to another cool feature available in ACR, which is the, the ability to create private ACR registries. So here, if I go to create a new ACR from the Azure portal, after uh, putting the basic information here, if I go to networking, I have here those two nice options to create the private endpoint. And if I go to select that, then here it will ask me to create a private endpoint. So if I click that, it will configure, I can, I can attach my ACR into a, a subnet in a VNet and then I can have a private communication from my cluster into that ACR so that uh, pulling that image will not go, will go only through the Azure Backbone network. So that adds more to the security of my uh, environment and also reduces the latency because now the communication will be done inside that uh, 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 VNet. And let's here move to another powerful feature that I really liked so much in, uh, in ACR, which is the integration with AKS. Each time we create an AKS cluster, we typically create ACR to host our images there. And we want to have a really good integration between the two tools. 
So what we allow you to do here is that actually when you want to deploy or when you want to deploy a, a, a Docker image from ACR into AKS, in your manifest, you would um, put a section in your uh, deployment file where you put the uh, password for your ACR. And that's not a good habit because now you will need to manage that password to secure it, to put it in a secret file maybe, or to use Azure Key Vault in order to, uh, uh, to lock down that, uh, that secret and secure it. But here, what we allow you to do is that you can use Managed Identity or service principle in order to allow for better communication for authenticating your AKS into ACR. So you no longer need that ACR password. It's the managed identity who will manage that for you. So we can uh, manage that uh, if you create your AKS from from the Azure portal that would be uh, managed for you automatically. So when you uh, select here authentication, you should first choose system assigned managed identity and after that on the integrations section from here you can choose what is the ACR that you want to connect to. So here I have the section here for container registry where I can choose my ACR uh, uh, registry and after the creation of those two resources now AKS will be authenticated to connect to my ACR and then you can uh, retrieve and pull all the uh, containers, all the images from that ACR. This is also, uh, we can also um, enable this integration through the CLI command line. And here, if I bring back my CLI, so we have this nice command, you can apply it to an existing or to uh, a new AKS cluster. And here, what you say is, AZ AKS update, then your cluster and your resource group, then attach ACR, and then you put your ACR name. And with this, the command line will configure the managed identity and will assign the role ACR pool into that identity so that AKS can use that identity to authenticate into ACR. To learn more about this feature, here I leave uh, this uh, link into the description below. So you can have, you can use this command if you prefer to use the Azure uh, CLI. To provision the cluster, maybe also you are using Terraform and we have that integration in Terraform. So here I have a sample Terraform template where I go to create a resource group, then I go to uh, create an AKS cluster that uses system assigned managed identity. So there here where we have the identity section and then we go to create or we go actually to reference that existing identity for that here i'm referencing uh, uh, that ident that existing identity that were created with the aks uh, cluster this one and then i will go to assign a role into that identity and i want to assign that into my acr so here I'm using the Azure RM role assignment in order to assign this role in from AK, between AKS and ACR. Maybe you have more questions about ACR, so I would recommend you to go to this link where here we are trying to answer the most frequently questions related to ACR. And at the end of this video, I would also invite you to check my videos if you are interested in learning more about ACR, AKS, Azure, DevOps, and all the nice and wonderful new technologies in the IT world. So thank you and see you next time.